what are the special installation uh, types for spray foam that may not be typically obvious? What is very popular in California, especially in Northern California, is wine tanks. All the tanks that they store wine in, those are all of them are sprayed with two inches of a spray polyethylene. Do we have any pictures? There is a huge market of it in Northern California, and there is a market for it. We're in talking Southern about California. these types of things. Yeah. Huh. But they get they get big. These look to be huge. Yeah. Yeah, like that. We spray the outside of those things. Right, so the outside wouldn't be silver like that. It would uh, have a layer. So what would you do exactly? What type of spray foam would you use? You would you'd first clean it, make sure all the dust is off it. Some might, depend on what material it is, some might require primer. Uh -huh. And then you, you actually spray roofing foam on it because it just comes out a lot smoother, which is usually a 2.8 density, 3-point density. And then you do two layers of elastomeric roof coating, just like basically a roof application. So sometimes they're going to be in a controlled environment. Presumably you wouldn't need to do it if it's in a controlled environment like this, or would you do it? No, no, you could typically wouldn't do it. But they, they would already have the environment already insulated. What this reminds me of, though, is the building that this is in. These are typically called pole barns. The reason being is, is they're usually made out of metal, metal siding, and they get the wind kicks up. It's very loud and rattly. The pole structures, they don't have any insulation in there. And the, our first unexpected application for spray foam would be wine tanks. Presumably, this would be a manufacturing facility in a winery, presumably. They, they make wine in quantities like this, do they? Yeah, Temecula is in Southern California. It's, that's about an hour and a half away from me. There is a lot of wineries out there. I just wouldn't have visualized the production of wine in big tanks like that. It's just that's mm -hmm. not intuitive. Well, there's an unusual application. So that, that's a good one. What else? Agricultural. Like, for example, in Idaho, it's real popular. You know, these pole barns are just screwed together with sheet metal and steel and sometimes wood a lot of the farming communities to get awfully windy and they just are loud and rattly and this would tighten up all the sheet metal siding and roofing to where it's nice and quiet and comfortable inside it blocks all the gaps and just strengthens the building overall structurally because it forms a kind of solid coating exactly yeah on these cold climate areas, which I'm in California, horse barns, where they don't want the horses freezing out there. So we've got wine tanks, whole barns, barns, and horse barns. And a lot of these barns, they put in areas for, for the employees. They put in like, some, you know, they'll, they'll attach a little office to them. They need to be insulated as well. So I imagine a big area, I mean, these are just basically like big hangers, aren't they? So if they need to be climate controlled, I imagine they've got to be very difficult to, because there's such a big open area, the way they're constructed, I imagine they must be uh, very difficult and very expensive to maintain a specific climate in them. As long as they do spray foam, it wouldn't be difficult. It, it seals everything up, and all they need is two inches. Is there a way to define the insulation value that would be achieved in an installation like this? You would get the 6.5 or 7 R value per inch. Two inches, that would give you a 14, so there's your R value. You, you'd end up with an equivalent of an R14 level insulation. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So it doesn't sound like a lot. It's back to the whole thing about spray foam is the air sealing. If you have the minimum of two inches in there, the heat or the cold isn't going to pass that. You have that air barrier in two inches of closed cell foam. The R value really isn't relevant. It's still, it's still going to not penetrate it because it has an air barrier. It's sealed tight. The, the reality then you're saying is that although it's theoretically an R14, the actual practical benefit of the insulation will be much greater than that. Yes. We're back to the performance than prescriptive. Prescriptive, it's an R14. The performance is much greater than that because it has the air sealing, the air barrier in it.